in the Baltic, to Trieste in the Adriatic, an iron curtain has descended across the continent. And so the Cold War began. Forty years of competition between capitalist West and communist East. A period of dangerous brinkmanship that would bring the world to the edge of nuclear conflict in 19. Whether they believed it or not, one Soviet leader after the other certainly advertised that communism would eventually prevail, that workers of the world would one day demand a better system. But the Soviet economy was failing. Nikita Khrushchev had advocated reform in the 60s. In the 70s, Leonid Brezhnev reverted to tyranny. Production continued to fall, corruption continued to flourish. The people grew increasingly disillusioned. By 1985, Mikhail Gorbachev faced an economy on the verge of collapse. In order to save the system, he loosened the reins of central control. A trickle of freedom became a tidal wave. And from Stettin in the Baltics to Trieste in the Adriatic, the Iron Curtain was raised, the empire finally crumbled. Where will the two most influential Russian politicians take the country next? What sort of a country will it be? There will be losses. Uh, there will be obstacles along the way. And war is never cheap or easy. From Turkey air bases to seek and destroy the 30 or so mobile Scud missile launchers, which still threaten the region. Military officials say jets did take out the launchers responsible for the terror in Israel. The Patriot missile got its first combat test. It downed a Scud incoming to a military base. Iron sounds tonight. Scud missiles hit cities in Israel. We got the first word of this from ABC's Dean Reynolds in the midst of a broadcast from Jerusalem as he and other staffers of ABC News struggled into their gas masks. Good evening, I'm Bill Vutel. Saddam Hussein said he would attack Israel if war came, and tonight he kept his promise. He sent some Scud missiles into Tel Aviv and Haifa tonight, and now the question is, will Israel retaliate, and how? A pool of smoke marked one explosion, and then came another. The security forces in protective suits arrived in seconds, burning hedgerows and scattered earth and debris where this one had landed. Military experts examined one crater. They found bits of shrapnel believed to be parts of a Soviet-made Scud missile. Coming under rocket attack is a totally new experience.
פסוקים, אמר פסקם ולכם ולסים, וחיסים פסוקים.
to the criminals comes to a state that the criminals are free roaming the streets of New York and the innocent citizens are locked in in the houses. Let us hope that the governor will help to it. As the Rebbe mentioned, if the governor mentioned how to pay back, that it says not to me, to the community. In a broader sense, as to the entire state of New York State. <laughs>
get this thing over with. Been here long enough. There will be losses. Uh, there will be obstacles along the way. And war is never cheap or easy. A pool of smoke marked one explosion. And then came another. People ran to safety, ignoring government radio warnings to stay home in sealed rooms and to put on their gas masks. The security forces in protective suits arrived in seconds, burning hedgerows and scattered earth and debris where this one had landed. Military experts examined one crater. They found bits of shrapnel believed to be parts of a Soviet-made Scud missile. Coming under rocket attack is a totally new experience for Israelis. The last 48 hours have brought an increasing atmosphere of tension and fear. Each missile strike is said to be the equivalent of a 300-pound bomb going off. In such heavily built-up areas, there was a surprisingly low casualty toll of just 10 people. Today, one Patriot battalion is capable of defending all of Israel, assuming the Iraqis aren't able to launch mass scud attacks. But it takes time to train the crews to operate this complex system. The Israelis are still in training and won't be ready for a while. Hence today's historic announcement of Patriot deployment with American crews to Israel. So whatever. Out here, a Marine's feeling of security runs only as deep as his foxhole where he sometimes can feel the rumble of distant explosions. And costly ground war. The minimum goal of the operation is to isolate the Republican guards, cutting off their supplies and preventing them from reinforcing frontline Iraqi troops in Kuwait. ...to have been virtually destroyed. The raids were also conducted during daylight hours, 
Among the targets, this major power plant, five miles from the downtown district. That in exchange, the U.S. offered to let the Israelis keep the Patriots, the Patriots, to give Israel better deals on future U.S. military purchases. As joyous daughters greeted their father just back from Israel today, emotional, historic ties were apparent. I felt privileged to be in Jerusalem with my brothers and sisters. hour goes by, they are going to be relatively less able to respond. He is neither a strategist, nor is he schooled in the operational arts, nor is he a tactician, nor is he a general, nor is he as a soldier. Other than that, he's a great military man.
Von der Rebbe's Kinder, was seine sich heute in Summe sich missachert, von ganz Israel, sie bei der ganzen Welt, was sie kriegen, sie ihre Kinder unter die Anweisung, und bei einem schönen, glücklichen Summe von dem Rebbe soll gesund sein. отпили, то есть муж и жена уже отпили от бокала вина, вина символизирующего веселье и радость всего еврейского народа.
The girls uh, from the group Neshek in the uh, camp uh, Ganesroel were from Moscow, and we want to thank Lubavitch Skerebe for this wonderful camp and nice summer. Thank you. This very tradition, because we don't know this tradition. had a big shop in which there was a lot of idols, idols. So when his father went to the, uh, to the uh, city, yeah. he came to his shop and uh, bra uh, damaged a... Uh, Rabbi Akiva Amer, the Klal Gadol Batara.
Don't block me. The girls uh, from the group Neshek in the uh, camp uh, Ganesrol uh, were from Moscow, and we want to thank Lubavitch Skereba for this wonderful camp and nice summer. Thank you very much. <laughs> Почему ты работал здесь? Чтобы помочь нашим детям.
person should not be prosecuted. Rabbi Shmuel Botman blamed outsiders like Reverend Al Sharpton for the violence and said Jews all over the world should insist the city control protests, as was done with today's march. We are demanding from the mayor of the city of New York, from the governor of the state of New York, and indeed from the United States of America, that the, seat, that the streets of Crown Heights should be safe for our streets, should be safe for our women and our children. And enforcing the law, there were a number of arrests, but only two cops were injured, neither seriously. During the first three nights and days of violence, cops complained that a... Where were the police? During the last couple of days, we've had... Notice the masking tape on the windshields to prevent shattering. The head of the police union tonight is complaining that officers haven't been allowed to adequately protect themselves in, quote, this state of siege. Phil Caruso. It was a total contrast to the Hasidic community's solemn funeral march. Mourners carried the coffin of 29-year-old Yankel Rosenbaum to the 71st precinct, where they called for more police protection. Rosenbaum, an apparent innocent bystander, was stopped. Reached a crescendo yesterday when a Brooklyn grand jury voted not to indict the Hasidic driver who killed a black child. Hasidim and blacks walk the streets. Children play without fear. It was this very location that just last week was the scene of a great deal of violence. Police, police, police. The spree of violence continued down the main roadway. Police cars were overturned, windows smashed. Eastern Parkway was littered with glass. After a bitter standoff between police and demonstrators, there were a number of arrests, and officials say there will likely be many more before calm is returned to these Crown Heights streets that remain at a flashpoint. For conservative religious sect who came from Russia, West Indians, Hispanics, and Asians. On Tuesday night, there was more violence. Zeb Wellis was trying to leave the neighborhood Tuesday night with his wife and two small children when he was set upon. I saw rocks coming from all over. I just hung to, to tell them to get out of my way otherwise. Luckily, my wife didn't get hurt. And luckily, that none of the kids got hurt. Some black clashes between blacks and Hasidic Jews. Police and riot here. Arriving at the world headquarters for the Lubavitch Hasidic movement. A brief meeting with the Lubavitcher Rebbe, Menachem Schneerson. Uh, I'm confident that with the good people of all of our communities, we From will come together, sides. both sides, Thanks. we will come together and do those things necessary to, to protect everyone. <laughs> costumes on their
کیدم نو خواد خیلی شما